We're announcing today the Less than two weeks ago, Milwaukee police announced they had arrested an alleged serial killer, 49-year-old Walter Ellis, whose DNA, they say, was linked to the killings of nine women over a 21-year period. Authorities say a number of the women were prostitutes. Most had been strangled, and their bodies were found within a three-mile area between 1986 and 2007. During the four-month period of the investigation, we developed a number of people who became people that we thought would potentially be good suspects. Police haven't said exactly how they first targeted Ellis as a suspect, who has now been charged in seven of the killings. But they say as they took a closer look at the cases and examined DNA evidence, their suspicion of Ellis grew stronger. The frequency that Mr. Ellis' name came up, um, he, uh, he, he grew our suspicion and raised it to the next level. But he was by no means the only suspect. The most difficult kind of detectable is the devil which requires waiting for a massive investigation. I spoke with him on the phone, and he and my case was suspicious. He wasn't making his test available. When police searched his home in late August, they seized a toothbrush and razors, which they took to their crime lab to examine for DNA evidence. Police say when it linked him to one of the unsolved crimes, they moved in and arrested him at this motel. His attorney, meanwhile, insists he's done nothing wrong. Despite the arrest, the case has revealed a disturbing lapse that some say could be putting residents at risk, a state database that's missing thousands of mandatory DNA profiles for convicted felons. A preliminary audit on the database was conducted when officials discovered no DNA on file for Ellis, who is a convicted felon. Although most of the 12,000 or so missing profiles belong to criminals who are still in state custody or under state supervision, as many as 30 percent do not. And authorities say they might have focused on Ellis sooner if his profile had been in the database as it should have been. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.